ask me to uh, say something about Silent Hero, my grandmother, Kruza Sobańska. So uh, my grandmother, her life was uh, remarkable. Her experience, her memories was described in the book Rose, here. And uh, during the Second World War, in the first weeks of, uh, of the war, she lost her husband and two aunts. Despite the tragedy, she never lost her high spirit and never stopped helping people in need. In that uh, uneasy time, Ruzsa is an example of real silent hero. In September 1939, she was uh, hiding three Jewish young girls from the Nazis in her home in Guzov, close to Warsaw. But uh, as time passed, it was uh, becoming more and more dangerous uh, for, for them and for the family um, who would have been shot or sent to concentration camp. So my grandmother arranged for uh, those three Jewish girls to be admitted to the Catholic convent <coughs> as uh, novices. Lula, the fourth sister of my grandmother, uh, recounted the ep episode to my uncle she was in touch with the Jewish girls until, the, until she was deported to, uh, by the communists to Russia for several, several years in 1945. When she was released, she tried to find any information what happened to them, but without success. My grandmother Rose was a perfect example of a silent hero. Those ordinary people, like uh, thousands of others, put their life in danger to protect innocent people convicted by the German Nazi to death only for their origin. Those people shall never be, never be forgotten. They deserve our <coughs> highest respect and support when they are the ones who actually need help in their uh, elderly years. <coughs> Thank you. Thank, thank you very much to Binyamin. You know, one of the things that, um, it, it, it's easy for us to sit around here sometimes uh, and to hear stories of the righteous uh, and to hear stories of those like Daniel's family, Binyamin's, and Anya's who we'll hear from in a second and the other incredible families that we have around and presume that we would have done the same thing had we been in those times. And I once asked Edward Mossberg, a Holocaust survivor, I said, Edward, what would you have done? And Edward told me, if I was there with my wife and kids, I wouldn't have risked their lives for anybody or anything. And I can tell you that I honestly believe that I would be the same. The risk. You know, it, again, often we hear stories only of those who survived because their stories are the easiest to tell. But so many families lost <coughs> entire families for risking their lives to save Jews. And, and really, this is the most remarkable thing from this story and, and also something that we really do mu and must bear in mind when dealing with this issue is that the most of us, at least I speak for myself, I know that I wouldn't have been able to do such a thing, which makes these silent heroes even more amazing, and their stories ones that must be heard. Uh, and with that, I'd like to ask my dear friend Philip uh, to please come uh, and introduce our next speaker. As most of you probably have known or seen Philip, uh, he's, he's a wonderful friend and, and someone who's been uh, really great to us. Uh, and if you don't know him, he'll probably introduce himself after anyway. <laughs> Philip, please. <laughs> My name is Philip Szlipacek. I'm here in the capacity of the Media Officer for the Institute of Polish Jewish Studies and a patron of Faith Matters as well as a trustee for the Mount Olive Cemetery in Jerusalem. Um, can I just say to that, first and foremost to Johnny, Johnny does some amazing, amazing work. Uh, he brings all of us together and I think one thing that we must also think about Johnny is what you do to actually, you don't think what divides us, you bring and you see what uh, we have all in common, so it's absolutely fantastic. I'm sorry to have said that, but you really do. <laughs> but, um, uh, Johnny.
please kindly ask me to, um, to invite many of you, which I have. But one person here I'd like to think you'll probably know her by her uh, P BBC persona, Anya Litharovic. Please, um, please come and tell your amazing story about how your family, uh, as second generation Poles in this country, have helped our Jewish brothers. Thank you very much indeed.